M0FXB. Welcome to my videos on the Zygu X6100. An IP address, you go into Wi Fi LAN, System Settings, move to Wireless LAN, move to Wireless LAN with the MFK knob and push select. With the config knob, no, with the edit knob, push it once. It will search for Wi Fi. Takes about a minute. Now you'll notice it's already connected from a previous one. You have to disconnect from that. So push disconnect here. And it will disconnect. Now use the config button to go down the list here with the orange square and change the IP address here to something that is one that you're used to seeing for your items that are connected to your router. Like on mine, it'd be 192. 168.0, say dot ten for example, and on yours it could be 192.168.1.10, and use a number that isn't already being used. Now click edit, edit here, this button here, and the keypad comes up, and then you can delete with the back arrow here. You have to turn with the MFK knob here to the back arrow where the at, there's an arrow here. Push it several times to delete, then start typing in. Now you could plug in a keyboard if it was easier into the uh, host port to speed things up. Otherwise you have to go through and then once you've done it, go to enter and hit out by the X. There's an X here at the bottom and there's your enter. Look in your router or look at a IP scanner to see what types of IP numbers you can use and that are already being used. Once the number's in, select enter with the MFK, enter here, which you'll see it, it's appeared there already, and then we'll click out of the keyboard. Now we're going to hit the connect button and see what happens. What we want to happen is connected but with an IP address. There you go. We so our Zygu now has an IP address which has shown up on my network so that opens up lots of possibility. So now use PuTTY or you could even use WinSCP uh, but PuTTY is what I'm going to use. Just type in that IP address 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one one five hit enter then you'll log in as root I'm sure they'll probably change this in the end uh, and then one two three is the password and you're in you're into terminal and now you can do what people do when they SSH into uh, Linux systems seven three all the best so you can now run uh, commands in, you know, in Linux and whatever the language that X6100 uses. I don't uh, have a clue, um, but you now can. So obviously be very careful. Don't make changes. Uh, talk to people that do know what they're doing. I'm just showing you how to get to this point. 7.3, all the best.